What's up, you guys? Smoking Skittles. We're right underneath this cross member. Here's our oil filter. And we're gonna go right up here. And you'll see our parts valve solenoid. That part looks exactly like this. So to take it off, you just have to take off this vacuum hose. Don't forget to zip it, put this back on. I'm gonna take off this connector. And then there's another vacuum hose up here on top. So you just take this off. If not, it's gonna come with it. And take this 10 millimeter bolt off and the one that is right here. So I found it a lot easier to take off this vacuum hose from the PCB valve from right there because it's a lot easier than taking it off the solenoid. We have to take this 10 millimeter bolt off so we can take the solenoid off of this bracket. So put the hose back on like this. And now it's time to connect it to the bracket. And screw in your 10 millimeter bolts. Don't forget to plug this hole to your EGR valve. And put this thing right in here again. That's in there nicely. All right, and then you're done. Okay, never mind, you're not done. I totally forgot the hose. Put on this hose. Good thing I didn't like turn it on or anything, because I now would have detected a vacuum leak, and I don't want another code. All right, so this is an EGR vacuum solenoid. Replacing the solenoid is going to get rid of your PO403. It can also be the EGR valve could be dirty though. So be aware of that. Guys, I'm also gonna disconnect my negative battery terminal for like 15 seconds. Only because uh, it's gonna reset the computer. It's gonna reset the computer and um, I do have a cat code on there, P04, I mean P0420. So I do have a cat code. Oh, this. I do have a cat code on there, so the light will turn on. But um, the P zero four zero three should definitely um, go off. So I'm just doing that. So I'll just only get one code, hopefully. So yeah, just take the negative battery terminal off for like 15 seconds and put it back on, and you should be fine. Um, the thing is, though, with some cars, uh, the radio has like. Um, a security thing on it so it has a code a password so just make sure you know the password before you take this battery terminal off or else um, you're gonna get locked out of your radio and shit all right thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe if this video helped